Hi, this is Amy from Pressure Cook Recipes. Welcome to the first episode of Cooking Together with Amy and Jackie. And we're excited to invite you into our studio. Um, so since our car accident in December, we can't do a lot of things. So we have took the time to do a little makeover with our studio. As you can see, there are a lot of our Instant Pot and other kitchen appliances we love and yes so welcome to our kitchen <laughs> so we're excited to share our first cooking together recipe with you it's the instant pot hk tomato beef and this recipe is inspired by a popular hong kong dish and we're excited to share it with you so first let's look at the ingredients here we have truck roast and we have some onions, garlic, diced tomatoes, soy sauce, tomato paste. And there are two ingredients that are optional, the sugar and oyster sauce. If you have unsalted chicken stock, you can use that. But if you don't have chicken stock, you can also use water. And in case you're wondering, there's no fish sauce in this recipe. This HK tomato beef is incredibly easy and forgiving. You'll most likely end up with some leftover sauce. With that, you can add some fresh veggies or ground meat to make it into a pasta sauce for your next meal. We understand that with all the things that have been happening around the world, it can feel very overwhelming and scary at times. With so much uncertainty and disruptions, some of us may be experiencing a lot of different emotions like worry, anxiety, or fear. Try to remember that all these difficulties will pass. For now, let us stick together and support one another in whatever ways we can, and we'll get through this together. Just know that Jackie and I are thinking of you and your families. Press the sauté button until it goes to the sauté more function. For some Instant Pot models, use the adjust button. To add a little excitement and fun for you, we'll be hosting weekly giveaways. And we'll tell you more about it at the end of the video. But first, we would love to get to know you. So in the comments section, please introduce yourself, let us know where you're from, and update us on what your current situation is like. And when the indicator says hot, you can add in the olive oil and your check steak. So let the check steak sit in the Instant Pot and let your Instant Pot do its magic to brown the beef. Here you can season the other side with some more salt and black pepper. All you need to do is to brown 5 minutes on each side. Even though we can't be physically with you, but thanks to technology, we can connect with each other and even cook and share the same dishes together. So in the coming weeks, you're invited to cook with us as we share some easy, comforting and delicious recipes. And all you need is your instant pot or pressure cooker and some simple pantry ingredients. Here we're sauteing the tomato paste and garlic. This will concentrate the natural sugars in the tomato paste and bring out the complex umami flavors. This is kind of like the situation we're in right now. Feels like life has suddenly thrown all sorts of challenges at us overnight. But as we grind through the heat and challenges, 
It'll bring out our inner strength. We'll come out the other side better and stronger. Yes, these challenges can be tough, but so are you. So it's important to scrub off all that flavorful, caramelized brown bits off the bottom. Here we're adding in the soy sauce, sugar, and the oyster sauce. Make sure you mix it well and the sugar is fully dissolved into the sauce. Turn off the Instant Pot at this time because you don't want the sauce to evaporate too much while you're cutting up the chuck roast. With this recipe, we're cutting the brown chuck steaks into one and a half inches thick cubes. Make sure the beef is partially soaked in the liquid. With the diced tomatoes, you just need to layer them on the top. I know it will be tempting, but don't mix it. Just in case some Instant Pots are very sensitive to the burn error. Pressure cook at high pressure for 32 minutes and a 10 minutes natural release. This HK tomato beef goes really well with rice, pasta, or your favorite side dishes. Don't forget to cook enough to soak up all that umami sauce. So you can use the saute more function to bring the yummy sauce to a simmer and thicken with cornstarch. And don't forget to taste and adjust the seasoning. You'll love the blend of sweet, savory, tangy flavors that makes it so comforting to eat. So this is the first time in the four years of working on pressure cooked recipes that were in front of the camera. So this is actually a new challenge for both of us. And Jackie is still behind the camera right now. Maybe you can give him a little encouragement in the comments below. And we'll see what happens. <laughs> so now we invite you to cook this Instant Pot HK tomato beef with us sometime this week. But if you don't have the ingredients on hand or if you can't find the ingredients, you're always welcome to make any other recipes on our website as well. To join our weekly giveaway, don't forget to take a picture and post it in your favorite Facebook groups or Instagram and add a hashtag cooking together and the hashtag Amy Jackie. You can also tag us at Pressure Cook Recipes. This way you'll be automatically entered to our weekly giveaway and we'll be able to enjoy all your delicious food photos. And if you liked the video, please make sure to give us a thumbs up and also subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Happy cooking and keep smiling.